Farina Marketing Syndrome Berhad was established in 2016 by Datin Sabrina Binti Ahmad, the Chief Executive Officer of Farina Marketing. This company is registered under Companies Commission of Malaysia's Act with the registrational number of 12258178. A. Farina products are manufactured in GMP status factories and pass the Pharmacy Bureau of Ministry of Health Malaysia MOH and Jakim Halal status with its own factory DS Pharma Herb Sindiran Berhad located in Jitra Kedah. Farina Marketing Sindiran Berhad has 50 types of beauty and health products that cover a wide range of uses but the main products of this company is sinus care, lemon tap and also glue tap. There are thousands of successful testimonials from users of Farina products. In addition, they have efficient customer service to advise Farina customers who have problems with their inner beauty. Farina Marketing Syndrome Berhad has two branches located in Sungai Petani and the other one located in Napo Kedah. The headquarters in Sungai Petani have more than 200 competent employees working under departments according to their respective expertise. Farina Marketing Syndrome Berhad is committed to supply natural herbal supplements and vitamins for beauty, health and slimming as their vision. Their mission is to become a multivitamin and herbal supplement product for the health and beauty approved by NPRA under the supervision of MOH. Farina Marketing is honest with the product they're selling. It's proven when they have a certificate from National uh, National Pharmaceutical Regulatory Agency which is called NPRA and under supervision of Ministry of Health. Uh, the product they're selling which is a health supplement, they list the ingredients and they mention it at their website so that customer can uh, refer to that and the process of making your, their product, they show it at the social media. Uh, Farina Marketing also train their staff to always speak honest with the product they selling. Uh, never, they never hide the important or useful information to the customer. Farina Marketing understand the problem that faced by their customer. All of their product is related to the customer. For example, uh, lemon tap. Lemon tap is a product for people who wants to lose their weight in right and healthy way. Uh, other product is sinus care. Uh, sinus care is for is very useful for the person who have a sinus infection. Plus, their product is suitable for all age, and it's also affordable for all people who want to buy their product. Farina Marketing always prioritizes their quality of the product, which means they, they produce their own product at their own factory. Uh, their factory have a good manufacturing practice standards, and also all of their product is recognized by Departments of Islamic Development Malaysia, which is called Chakim. Lastly, Farina Marketing Founder Ali are really patient with the product she's selling. Uh, the, post, the feedback they get from the customer, they use it for making better for the customer satisfaction. In result, their product always have a high demand. With the positive feedback and increased sale, uh, it means that Farina Marketing has win the customer heart and have established a passion brand. I will talk about the stakeholders of the organizations. A stakeholder is any group or individual that can affect or affected by an organization. Stakeholders provide realistic and financial help to the company and also people involved in the business. As for Purina Marketing Sandian Berhad, the stakeholders ranging from the dedicated employees, customers, suppliers and communities 
The first stakeholder is employees. An employee is an individual hired by an employee to perform a particular job. For Verena Marketing Senior Berhad, all of their biggest breakthroughs as a company come from their best team. Currently, they have 200 employees who are working in the HQ office and around 30 to 50 employees in the manufacturing sector. The requirement to be part of them start with Citizen Pelajar Malaysia with starting salary 1,200 ringgit Malaysia per month. For Farina Marketing Senior Berhad, no organizations can succeed without the cooperation of wholehearted employees and they are responsible for dealing with employees by indulgence workers to be more productive like commission up to 7%, training reward if they achieve the target, and provide a polyclinic for free health care for their staff. The second one is customer. Customer is considered as the most important stakeholder in product improvement. They play an important role in product improvement and help company to increase their profits. For Farina Marketing Senior Berhad, quality goods should be produced and care must be taken in providing quality goods that do not adversely affect the health of consumers. They will take the risk if anything unpleasant regarding their products. In fact, they will make a full refund if the customers complain and not satisfied with their products. To avoid being misled by wrong claims about products through improper advertisements or otherwise, the consumer will be provided full information about the products including the adverse effects, risks, and care to be taken while consuming the products. Next is supplier. Supply is an entity that supplies goods and services to another organization. Farina Marketing Sinabra had no that the importance of maintaining good relationship based on mutual respect could bring fairness for both sides of businesses. Thus, they also will make sure that they will pay on time and even extra for the deposit to avoid any issues in the future. The last one is local community. They always help CSR event to get close with the local community. For instance, Bubu Lambu activity for local community at Kedah during fasting months every year. Help free makeup classes, distribute food every Friday and also mask and hand sanitizer for them. There are a few areas of responsibility. The first one is employee. Farina Marketing in Emirhat did not practice discrimination. They hire and provide its employees with equal opportunities without regard to risk, sex, or other irrelevant factors. They always concern about the welfare of the employees by provide and ensure that the workplace is physically and socially safe. In addition, they also provide a polyclinic for free health care for their employees. Health and safety represent another important concern for them. For Farina Marketing in Neighborhood, good health can contribute to an employee's self-worth, which in return increases productivity and reduces absenteeism. Next responsibility is towards customers. Farina Marketing Sinember had believed in being successful in today's business environment, a company must satisfy its customers. They will take responsibilities with their customers to get their trust. So they must deliver what it's promised and as well be honest and forthright. They will make a full refund if the customers complain or not satisfied with their products. Farina Marketing uh, adopt a proactive plan that is an approach to social responsibility. 
uh, Karina Marketing always taking action and find an opportunity uh, to involve with various activities for well-being community. There are many activities that Karina Marketing involve, such as uh, they give donation to the orphanage and all folk home at selected area in Kedah. Uh, other than that, every Friday, Friday they give uh, free food to public at Masjid Al Makmur Sungai Lalang Kedah. Uh, also, they help single mother who need side income, uh, and they give free guidance uh, to help them boost their sale. Uh, moreover, due to due to the pan this pandemic COVID nineteen, uh, Perino Marketing also taking part by giving free hand sanitizer and free mask to the public to helping government to curb this pandemic COVID-19. In addition, Farina Marketing also distribute free food to the frontliner so that it can make them motivate uh, and feel appreciated uh, because of their working so hard in this pandemic. Corporate Social Responsibility CSR is how well the company can make a positive impact on the society and the environment. CSR comes in many forms, even the smallest companies impact on social change by making a simple donation. Farina Marketing Sundiram Burhat has done a lot of corporate social responsibility programs throughout the years since it was established. Majlis Berbuka Puasa Bersama Anak Yatim. This was held on the 24th of May 2019. The company brought three orphanages which were Pertubuhan Rumah Anak Yatim Kuala Muda, Badan Usaha Didikan Anak Yatim, Negeri Kedah and Pertubuhan Kebajikan Rumah Anak-Anak Yatim dan Miskin Al-Taqwa to their breaking, breaking fast ceremony to celebrate them. The purpose of this program was to make everyone realise that not everyone comes from from a perfect family or background. The orphans were given hampers and also do it rayu. This program included all staff members of Arena Marketing Syndrome Berhad, around 250 people. Secondly, donations to all folks home at Bidong Kedah. This event was held on the 13th of June 2019. Farina Marketing Syndrome Berhad gave donations such as new beds, basic needs, new clothes, and also food supplies to the senior citizens of Rumah Seri Kenangan Bidong, Kedah. This program was to show gratitude to these seniors for their contributions when they were young. As we know, the elderly are the ones who need help the most. Third is collaboration with UITM Merbo to create young entrepreneurs. Farina Marketing Syndrome Berhad knows that teenagers don't have the same attitude and mindset as before. Youth entrepreneurship becomes more and more popular on a daily basis. The development of internet technology gives them many business opportunities. It really doesn't matter how old you are. Everyone has equal chances to achieve his or her business goals. Because of that, it is not a surprise that youth entrepreneurship becomes some kind of trend. Annual dinner Bollywood theme and gold black theme. As a token of appreciation towards their staff and customers, they will always arrange not just one, but two annual dinners. The company annual dinner events have been a great way to boost employees' moral and productivity at work. The company also values their staff's contributions towards the company. It goes along in creating better focused teams that are also well motivated. The second one is Langkawi trip. Farina Marketing arranged a three day, two night trip to Langkawi bringing along all members with a total of 250 participants on 19th December 2019. The purpose of this trip was for team building to make everyone bond with each other and get to know one another. Mask and hand sanitizer donation event. For the current and ongoing corporate social responsibility program, Farina Marketing has been a great help towards the community by handing out masks hand sanitizer and vitamin C towards the community, especially in Kedah. Farina Marketing has helped more than 10,000 local people. 
Farina Marketing targeted the people in need for this program from primary school students till the elderly because they were at high risk and easily affected with COVID-19. Secondly, donation for flood victims in Pendang. Farina Marketing also had the chance to help out when there was a flood in Pendang during the early days of October 2020. Farina Marketing Sindriam Berhad was one of the first to step in and give help possible because the electricity and water were cut off during the flood. So Farina Marketing donated the basic needs for the people affected. Cash donations were given handed directly and food supplies were given to every household in the area. Cash Rewards The cash reward is intended to show employees appreciation for their work and time in the company. The practice of handing out cash rewards is a win-win situation. The purpose of this cash reward is to boost the employee's self-confidence and self-esteem. The employees are often rewarded by the ability to retain hardworking, knowledgeable and experienced personnel. It also helps to achieve top performing employees. New job opportunities. During COVID-19, many people have lost their jobs. So Farina Marketing has plans on helping these people by giving them job opportunities. From SPM leavers, fresh graduates with no experiences to the people who had to be laid off because of COVID-19. Farina Marketing accepts all these people. From, for those who do not have experiences in sales, Farina will give them the opportunity to learn basic sales from product knowledge until the closing of sales, including the promotion of sales to attract customers. Farina Marketing gives free guidance to those who are interested in the business world. Farina has future plans to go to Korea because they have achieved the target of 3.5 million. They will take a trip to Korea for two weeks, bringing 400 staff members, including one family member. The trip will be a tour of Seoul. Social Responsibility Management Social responsibility is assumed obligation of business to society. Being socially responsible means to maximize the positive effect and minimize the negative effect on society. Farina Marketing, Farina Marketing accomplished two dimensions of management which is formal and informal. For the formal, they got legal compliance. They assign the task to appropriate functional manager. For example, they got human resource executive. They ensure the compliance with regulations concerning hiring, pay, workplace safety and health. Farina also got approval from MOH and obtained the highest status from Jakim regarding producing the product. Second is ethical compliance. All the members should follow the basic ethical standard of behavior in the workplace. Uh, for example, uh, the common rule is punctuality, proper dress, working hours, and etc. We also pay the overtime job for employees according to the company agreement. And they also welcoming employees to send a feedback or complaint in case any other unethical activities going on the workplace. And third is philanthropy giving. They also involve donating funds, goods, or service to charity or another social program, such as they contribute to senior citizen, uh, awarding funds to the single mother around the state of Kedah, preparing food to congregation of Moscow every Friday, giving uh, basic supplies for surrounding community, and many more. So, um, for the informal, Dimension they got two, which is one is uh, organizational leadership and culture. So this company implement leadership practice uh, towards its employee, uh, such as for a new employee, uh, they will train the after they got absorbed in the company, uh, and then to uh, they train to adapt with company working style and the second is they also concern on whistleblowing 
which is they have experience uh, for the previous uh, problem arising they got a uh, one they got a worker a worker that brought uh, an issue and then they take an issue to brought the issue to the labor office and they can uh, enter an agreement so uh, in the event of the bench between any parties the matter will be heard to the court that's all from to, that's all of that's of the social responsibility management by Farina marketing syndrome to conclude Corporate social responsibility has been important for every business in the world. In reality, without doubt, a lot of business would like to get a positive reputation from it. Farina Marketing Senior Rahats incorporates CSR as a part of its strategic planning in order to be able to maintain the market or sector for a long time to come. Corporate Responsibilities Program are the perfect way to boost a moral in the workplace. Through CSR program, philanthropy, volunteer efforts, Farina Marketing Senior Rahat can benefit the society with a, so, uh, with a positive social value. They target the people who in need like, uh, such as orphans, fox, uh, single mother and natural disease victims. The company has careful concentration towards the human rights, the community, the environment, and the society in which it operates. Overall, the most meaningful and timeless dedication to being socially aware is pure pleasure and happiness that comes from doing something different for humanity.